Not often Argentinians are seen out and about in Peterborough, or Scandinavians for that matter, but Spurs are nothing if not a cosmopolitan outfit. Well, it was nearly 30 years ago that Arsenal came here in the fourth round of the Cup and lost 2-1. Peterborough chairman, chief executive and manager Chris Turner, doubtless hoping history might repeat itself. Not that you'd have got very long odds on another North London upset. Well, the familiar rituals at the start of the game, Peterborough goalkeeper Fred Barber performing his customary cameo. And as the game got underway, Darren Anderson performing his. He really has started to find some form for Spurs this season. And if he brought his shooting boots with him up the A1, the tie would have all been over by half time. In fact, one 30-yard free kick from Darren Bradshaw was Peterborough's token effort in the first half. It was all Tottenham. And how they didn't go in at the break, at least two up, is one of life's great mysteries. Anderson again prompting the move. Bambi's smart cross. Barber denying Gazelle, the post denying Anderton, and Justin Edinburgh is probably still wondering why he didn't just let fly at the rebound. Good block from Barber. Anderton can justifiably consider himself unlucky, and Peterborough mightily relieved to reach the sanctuary of the dressing room, all square. Well, the second half looked to be going pretty much the same way as the first. Barnby shaving the woodwork. Then Peterborough made a switch and brought on Nigerian Dominic Ayorfa, and his pace and power suddenly began to stretch the Spurs' defence. Peterborough was suddenly beginning to intimidate their illustrious opponents and on the hour they took the lead. I offer again involved Tony Adcock supplying a gentle enough cross but while Calderwood missed it Jason Brissett at the far post certainly didn't. And just to add insult to Spurs injury Brissett used to be an apprentice at Arsenal but in fairness this isn't the first time this season that Spurs defence has looked vulnerable under pressure. Well, in fact, Spurs suddenly look completely and utterly disorientated. Sedgley conceding an unnecessary corner, Torsvet looking aghast, Calderwood disgusted, and Justin Edinburgh wading in to add his two pennyworth. Peterborough could suddenly smell blood, and were it not for a Torsvet, they'd have had it. Ken Charlery testing him once, and the Norwegian recovering superbly to deny Peterborough a second time. Well, Spurs, though, are far more resilient than people credit, and Anderson again posing the threat, substitute Sol Campbell watching in disbelief as his header bounced the wrong side of the post. But just as it seemed it was never going to come right for Spurs, it finally did. Anderton releasing Samways. Samways offering Kerslake the chance to get in the cross. And at the far post, Jason Dezel with his seventh goal of the season, saving Spurs blushes with just four minutes to go. Tough on Peterborough, perhaps, who made a habit this season of throwing it away in the final furlong, but even an Arsenal fan would concede it was no more than Spurs deserved. And speaking of just desserts, that's precisely what this fella got as well. But even then, it wasn't all over, as either side could have snatched it right at the death. Ken Charlery denied by the long legs of Eric Torsford, much to the relief of Colin Calderwood. And at the other end, Darren Anderton's header blocked on the line, and Kasky and Calderwood frustrated by a very brave piece of goalkeeping by Fred Barber. You don't have to be crazy to be a goalkeeper, but it certainly helps. 1-1 had finished the sequel of White Hart Lane on Wednesday week.